the proximity of a desirable thing tempts one to overindulgence. On that path lies danger. Frank Herbert Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Dune figures from McFarland Toys. So I recently got all of these in the mail. I basically just ordered them all in one shot. And uh, I have to say, they're really cool looking toys. Uh, now, some people like to take their toys out of the box. Some like to leave them in the box. But I'm one of those guys. Very rarely do I take any of my action figures outside of the box. So I left them all in, in box. So I'm not going to be able to open them up to actually get a look at them to do the review that way. But I'm going to be taking a close up look at the packages and stuff uh, to get as much detail as I can. Um, it's just because the figures are so expensive. Um, they're not cheap. Well, not super expensive, but they're not really cheap. And you'd have to almost like buy two of each one. One so you can keep in the pack and the other one that you can, you know, take out and display kind of deal. And uh, so I decided to start off with Lady Jessica. Great looking figure, uh, good likeness of Rebecca Ferguson. So we'll take a closer look at the uh, box here. So let's get a closer look at the box here. So at the top, we got the Todd McFarlane Toys logo. And then you can see it's kind of like a dark brown, the top of the box here with the uh, desert motif. And then, uh, Let's get a closer look at the contents inside of the package here. Uh, pretty good likeness of Rebecca Ferguson, actually. Not too bad. And uh, so then we got the Beast Raban. We have his head. And then we have some sort of um, sword or almost like a machete. And that's another uh, piece that comes with the Raban Build-A-Figure and his Ink Vine Whip. And then one thing about this, you can get in there, you can really get a good look at the Chris knife and what it's going to look like in the film. And it also comes with some kind of package, almost like a pack, um, another accessory, but looking inside the box, I'm not really sure what that is. And then we got the stand in the background, which has uh, the Dune movie logo. You can kind of see it a little bit there. And then just taking a look at the action figure itself, uh, displays really well in the window box. And I like the window box displays for, uh, action figures because if it's just the one that's kind of glued around a backing like a back a card backing over time that glue dries up and gives out and then it breaks apart but the boxes uh the ones that are inside the boxes don't and then a good likeness of rebecca ferguson there and then we got that atreides green take a look at the side of the box so we got lady jessica's name and then it's almost like written in another language Almost like Imperial Gaelic or something, maybe. And then there's just the bottom with the uh, legendary logo and stuff on the back. And then we got the same kind of like McFarland Toys logo there. The same desert motif on the back. So we'll take a look at the back here now. So you got, uh, and you can get a little right up here. Lady Jessica, House Atreides, belonging to a mysterious sisterhood, Lady Jessica has mastered the mind-controlling power of the voice. And then there's like a little diagram, collect to build. So it shows what pieces of Raban comes with Lady Jessica. And then there's a picture of what uh, the Build-A-Figure will look like when it's completely built. I wish Raban had just came in his own package and wasn't a Build-A-Figure because now I'll just always have the pieces of them and never actually have them built unless I buy all these figures again. And then here's another excellent uh, picture of uh, the figure for Lady Jessica on the back with the House Atreides symbol there. So a nice, they're really nice action figures, really good sculpts on these things. Now for the second figure, we're going to be taking a look at Paul Atreides himself, the uh, judicial heir to House Atreides, uh, Muad'Dib himself, the Kwisak's Adar Hadarach. So 
Out of all the figures, he's the smallest one because they're all kind of like the scale, how they would look in the film. They're not a uniform size. Uh, so Timothy Chalamet's not a big guy and Paul Atreides from the book, he's not described as being a big guy. Uh, so he's the smallest figure. But with that being said, let's have a closer look at the box. So a closer look at Paul inside the packaging here. Now, the packaging is the same color scheme as uh, Lady Jessica's, but some of them do have a different color scheme, as you'll see. So the accessories he comes with is two knives, and uh, that looks like a leg. Uh, one of Raban's legs, two of Raban's legs. And uh, he comes with the Chris knife. And the stamp. So that looks like all the accessories he comes with. And uh, they got a good likeness of Timothy Chalamet there. Paul Atreides with the Atreides Hawk. And then another look at the side of the packaging there. McFarland Toys. So on the back, we get to see another photograph of the figure there. And uh, again, this one comes with a write-up. They all come with write-ups on the back. Paul Atreides, House Atreides, here to one of humanity's most powerful families and cursed with visions of the future. Paul must face his destiny on the planet known as Dune. And then he comes with both of Raban's legs. Okay, so the two... And then there's the side again, Paul Atreides. So these two knives are actually belong to Paul. I thought they might have been Raban's. And there is the Chris knife. Pretty cool design. And the sculpts on these are really good. Really painted well, a nice wash on. So still suits look worn and beaten like they've seen some desert action. So cool stuff. Now we have Duncan Idaho, uh, the sword master. Uh, so a good, now this figure, all the sculpts are pretty good likenesses, but this one, I don't find they did a good job with the likeness. He doesn't look like uh, Jason Momoa at, not, not at all. Um, but the figure itself is still pretty cool and uh, comes with some really neat accessories. And as you can see, same uh, color box as, uh, Paul Atreides and Lady Jessica. Now the only thing with this figure when it got shipped to me and I'll show it in more detail here in a bit is there was a bit of damage to the box which kind of bugged me and irritated me a bit because I like to keep my uh, figures inside the boxes. I don't take them out of the box for display or anything like that. Uh, so it annoys me when the box is damaged when you get it in shipping because uh, that's one of the things that's going to be displayed along with the figure is the packaging itself. So with that said, let's have a closer look at the box. Now taking a closer look at Duncan, Idaho. Now the only thing when I got mine shipped to me, I was a little bit disappointed. There's a little bit of damage here on the corner. And same thing on the back right here. You can see it was torn a little bit. And same thing on this side. So that actually, actually kind of annoyed me. I like to keep the boxes as in good a shape as possible since I don't usually take my action figures out of the box when I do collect them. So, uh, Duncan Idaho comes with two of Raban's arms, and as you can see, that is that really doesn't look like Jason Momoa. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> they didn't do the best job of capturing his likeness there. And uh, but still, again, the still suits are super detailed, they're they really did a good job. You can really get a good look at them and they look like they're all the one color in the movie but in the action figures it's like two tone Duncan Idaho House Atreides and then there is Duncan Idaho's bladed weapons there that he used in the trailer and there's Jason Momoa's likeness and the same thing on the side Duncan Idaho Another good photograph of the action figure on the back here. Duncan Idaho, House Atreides, a legendary warrior renowned for his twin blade fighting style. 
Duncan Idaho is the sword master of House Atreides. And he comes with parts number three for the Beast Revenge. Now the cool thing about Duncan Idaho is you can buy you can buy like a bunch of Duncan Idahos and then you can have like uh, a Gola army builders. <laughs> So now we have uh, Stilgar with the Fremen. Now, if you'll take a look, and I'll, I'll show this in more detail when I show the box up close, but the color of the packaging is different from the uh, Atreides figures. Now, I'm guessing it's because Stilgar is a Fremen, but at the top of the package, it's the color is like a lighter brown, where the other ones, it's a darker, almost like a black color. This one is a lighter brown, almost like a reddish brown. So each of the factions, they all have a different emblem or symbol. And uh, as you can see down the corner, uh, the Fremen have a different one from House Atreides. So I'm guessing eventually we'll get uh, all the other figures in the second line that'll probably come out sometime next year, closer to the movie uh, being released, uh, because there's still lots more figures. There's like uh, Duke Leto and Chani and all those. Uh, so this is just the first lineup of figures from McFarland Toys. So with that said, let's have a closer look at that box. Now we're on Stilgar. You can't get a good look at his face in the box here. You got to just kind of tuck down into his mask. But again, great detailing, great sculpt. And he comes with a Chris knife and a pack as well. Some sort of a pack. And you can see the stand in the background. And he comes with Raban's torso. And you see a good likeness there of Javier Bardem. And he comes, he has a different symbol, this one. It's the Fremen symbol. And I notice the box is a little bit different color. It, it's a lighter brown at the top here than what the other ones were for House Atreides. So I don't know, maybe all the Fremen are going to have that lighter brown at the top. And then taking a look again at the side. Stilgar. And another good shot of the action figure on the back here. They got that lit really nice. And that there is the symbol for the Fremen. Stilgar the Fremen. A brave leader of the desert warriors known as the Fremen, Stilgar fights to protect the dangerous world his people have come to call home. And it comes with the number two piece for the Beast Raban. So they come in really nice packaging, I have to say. The boxes on these figures are uh, quite well done. Really nice. Here is the Baron Harkonnen. So this is one of the largest figures, or this is the largest figure. This was the deluxe figure released by uh, McFarland Toys. And uh, it's quite a bit larger than the other figures and a bit, quite a bit more pricey too. It's almost not quite double the price, but it, it it's pretty pricey. Uh, I know some of the stores that I looked at, some of the online stores, you can buy them, all the figures as a bundle. Now, only the other four come with any building parts for Raban. Uh, the Baron, he doesn't come with any. And he also, he just comes with the stand. And he also doesn't come with any, like, weapons or accessories or anything like that. Let's have a closer look at the box. Now, last but certainly not least is the Baron, which was a deluxe figure and comes in a huge box. He is quite a bit bigger than the other ones. And fantastic sculpt. And he comes with a special stand. So it looks like he's floating. You can see the, you can kind of see that stand in the background. And good likeness of uh, the Baron. Now you can get a really good look at the costume design and everything for how he's going to look in the film. Yeah, he's, he's quite a bit bigger than the other figures. And there's the Harkonnen symbol. Baron, Harkonnen. And then we get a picture of... Now, this is actually a picture that we didn't get to see in uh, the trailer of the Baron. And it looks like he's just wearing some kind of a robe with uh, some kind of bizarre looking ring there. 
So let's look, take a look at the top of the box. Here is the side. And you can see there's some kind of different writing there, different from the other ones. So it's almost like maybe that's Harkonnen writing. Baron Harkonnen. And then we get another right up on the back here. Evil personified. Baron Vladimir Harkonnen is an all-consuming force of malevolence, determined to feed his addiction to brutality. And then we get a look at the other action figures that are available. Paul, Lady Jessica, Stilgar, Duncan Idaho, Quick the Build Raban. And there's a picture of him with the stand that's included in the base that you can set him up on. And there he is, a floating fat man. The Baron. Pretty, pretty cool figure. Now, just to give you a size comparison, there he is next to Stilgar. So he's quite a bit bigger than the other figures. He's actually quite a big figure. Uh, they did a good job on him. Yeah, the sculpt is really good on this one. A lot of good details. Cannot wait to see what he's going to be like in the new film. It's going to be awesome. Really cool figure. So that's my review of the action figures for the upcoming Dune. Uh, that's going to be out in 2021 from Denny Villeneuve. And uh, a few minor complaints here and there, mostly with uh, Duncan Idaho's packaging being damaged a bit and stuff like that. But overall, fantastic looking figures. Uh, great sculpts. Uh, not really too much to complain about with these figures. Uh, they're pretty well done. Uh, McFarland toys. Uh, they usually are pretty good. They always knock it out of the park. And I can't wait uh, for more figures like this. Hopefully they do another wave. Because I'd like to have a Duke Leto figure. And uh, a Chani figure. And uh, there's lots more that you could do. Uh, characters like that. Especially when the second part comes out. And we get to see who is playing Fade Rautha. Uh, the also, also for the second wave there's uh, uh, Liette Kynes and stuff like that so still lots more left to make in the toys uh, so awesome figures but let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow if you're new to the channel don't forget to like, share and subscribe also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.